Hi, I want to teach you the caterpillar finger exercise. This is probably the most common finger exercise guitarists do to increase their strength, their coordination of left hand and right hand, and um, their flexibility. It's a great exercise to do every time you pick up the guitar to practice. And I'm going to show you four different levels of difficulty. Usually people online I've seen just teach the fourth level of difficulty, but that's pretty tough for beginners. And so I'm going to start um, with level one here. This is what it looks like. And this is level two. Level three is going to look like this. And so forth. And level four is going to look like this. And so forth. So that's what the caterpillar finger exercise looks like. I'm going to teach it uh, in the level one difficulty position to start out, but the guidelines that I'm going to give you are going to apply to any level of difficulty. Um, so for now, just put your first finger on the first string, fifth fret, and I'm starting up here instead of down here at the first fret because the frets are spaced more widely down here, and so it's going to be, it makes it a little harder to do the exercise down this low on the fretboard. So we're going to start up at the fifth fret where the frets are closer together. And what you do is you uh, play that note, uh, first string, fifth fret, and then play the sixth fret with your second finger and leave your first finger where it was. Now put down your third finger on the seventh fret, pick that one, and finally your pinky. And by the time you get up to the top, you have four fingers on the fretboard. This is not how you would play guitar like in the wild. We're purposefully leaving our fingers there in order to give our hand more exercise. And so um, that's a key part of, of doing this exercise. Once you get up to the pinky note, you lift your pinky and come back down. So hit your third finger note, second finger, and first finger. Let me do it again and notice that we only hit the pinky note once when we get up to it. We also only play the first finger note once when we get down to it as we loop this pattern. See how that works? We only play each note one at a time. And if you know how to alternate pick, it's good to alternate pick it. Down, up, down, up. But if you're not used to alternate picking, uh, I would recommend just focusing on your left hand technique, at least until you really get the um, left hand trained to do this exercise cleanly um, before you fuss with alternate picking, because that's going to distract you. Um, as you do this exercise, the goal here is not to do it fast, although it is nice to do it fast if you can, but a more important goal is that you play each note cleanly and that you let the note ring for as long as possible as opposed to like this. It's easier to play that way, but you're not training the kind of left hand, right hand coordination that you should be learning and doing this exercise. So feel free to go really slowly if that's what it takes to get these notes clean and ringing for as long as possible with no gap in between the notes, no gap in sound. So that's stage one, uh, level difficulty one. For level difficulty two, slide down here to first position. Same idea, but now your fingers need to spread apart more. And then for the third level of difficulty, you wanna play the caterpillar exercise on all strings, starting with the sixth string, fifth fret up here. This is third level of difficulty. Go 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, just like you did on the level 1. But when you get up to the pinky note, instead of going back down, shift to the 5th string and do your 1st finger, 2nd finger, 3rd finger, 4th finger, and then to the 4th string, and so forth, all the way up to the 1st string. When you get up to the 1st string, just as in the 
Uh, previous example with level difficulty one, you play the pinky note once, and now you're going back down. When you get down to this note here, now we're going to shift to the second string, eighth fret, with our pinky. And here you don't need to like put all your fingers down. Remember when I said earlier that you leave your fingers down as you're climbing up? Um, that does not apply to when we're um, descending the caterpillar exercise. Descending meaning going toward the bass strings where actually our fingers are going up toward the ceiling, but we call it descending because the notes are getting lower and lower. So anyway, starting with this pinky note on the first string again, let me show you how this works. You get down to this first finger note and now you reach with your pinky to the second string eighth fret. Climb down like that to the fifth fret. Now go to the third string eighth fret. The fourth string eighth fret. The fifth string eighth fret. And the sixth string eighth fret. When you get down to the lowest note here, now you start climbing back up again. go back and forth. When you're starting out, you'll probably just get a couple repetitions before your arm starts to burn. What you want to do is get that burn in your arm, uh, which means that you're getting a good workout. Even though you are trying to get a good workout, by the way, uh, you don't want to use too much muscle tension as you do this exercise. Whenever you do anything on guitar, you want to use as little energy as possible. Um, and so try to relax your shoulders, relax your body, play with as little energy as possible. Just lining up those fingers though on the frets, as I told you to though, will still add uh, uh, plenty of extra challenge, which if you, uh, uh, so that as you repeat this exercise uh, for several minutes, you will get that arm burn, which means that you're exercising your muscles. Okay, and then the fourth level of difficulty is the same as what I just showed you, but do it down here in first position. So I recommend doing this exercise toward the beginning of your exercise, of your uh, practice regimen. Uh, if you practice every day, great. Start with a little warm up and then do this finger exercise. And you'll find uh, after you've done it for a couple weeks that your strength and your coordination, your finger flexibility will start increasing. And so this uh, will really increase your capability in doing so many things on the guitar. So I really hope that this is useful for you and um, please let me know if you have any questions. All right, have fun, take care.